We're saved. We can pack now. Yes. So this is what we think we need to take. Let's see if that's true. So on this bed are the things that we are going to have to take back with us when we take the flight back. So we've got a few problems with the flying. First of all is restricted items. So we can't take scissors, sharp pointy objects and so on and so forth. And the second problem is there is a weight limit. Mm. We've got 10 kilos each. Now that includes our laptops, technology, clothing. And don't books. forget we need to carry on working uh, to some capacity while we're traveling. First things first that we had to cut, we had to get rid of our Swiss Army knife because I think as you would have seen by now, we realized that we are flying back and uh, <laughs> we cannot take our, our Swiss Army knife. But thankfully we, th we think that our camper van actually has like a can, um, opener, a, a can opener, given that we're able to use their can opener, which is about a 50-50 chance, um, <laughs> or the, the can opener is not broken, um, we'll be fine, we will not starve, we'll be able to open all the 10 billion cans we bought. So, clothing, it's gonna be cold. That means we're gonna need base layers. That's yeah. the most important thing that we need to take. All the base layers that we own are, m m are marina wool. Marina wool is um, much better for um, keeping you warm. They're really, really good uh, and versatile, and they, f they fold very small, so you can roll them and they don't take. Uh, that much space. Okay, I'm wearing red. I'm so sorry. You cannot see a thing. Okay, so we've got three t-shirts and you've got two long sleeve shirts. Okay, now we do have a tendency to share t-shirts, so that's why you usually take about half the amount of t-shirts. I don't think we should start cutting the base layers. Okay, so, so you think we should we, cut the normal t-shirts. Okay, well we've got... We're definitely keeping the yellow. We've got four t-shirts here and you've got two tank, tank tops. tops. That's six plus five that's eleven okay so that is probably too many tops okay so let's get rid but, of two of these well we're definitely keeping the yellow and i want to keep the red um we are, okay you already okay you this, okay. Th these are all his Fine. choices i'll keep purple okay mm, i don't want purple well then we're gonna have yellow blue and yellow blue we're gonna be like <laughs> smurfs <laughs> i've got an idea get rid of the blue tank top and we'll take the blue t-shirt we don't need the purple one, and we don't need this one. There you go. Pretty much anything red that, that we own is his. As long as it's actually um, not too cold, like I, I hope it's going to be warm in the van, these will be obviously the, what, what we do, do uh, double as um, yeah. our uh, sleeping t-shirts. Okay, so next up we have two pairs of trousers each. One we're going to be traveling with, and the other one is a spare one. I don't think we need to cut those. Because you can't go with one pair of trousers. We're really going for the more minimalistic approach to things, so let us know, would you, as a minimalist, pick only one pair of trousers and travel with them alone? I don't think you could, because then what happens if those pairs of trousers get wet or dirty or something? What would you wear whilst those are being washed? We also have base layer trousers. Leggings. Same leggings, same purpose. Goes underneath the trousers. They're nice and warm. These we can't cut. They're no. not going to be cut. We also have jumpers. Which we will One wear each. on the plane because they take space, all space. I don't think we can cut the jumpers because if it is a bit chilly but we don't want to wear our jackets, we're going to be wearing the jumpers. Fine, jumpers stay. Jumpers stay. Okay. Okay. This. I want to, I'm going to wear it. That's settled then. <laughs> <laughs> It, it's a shirt, Okay. by the way. Underwear and socks are over there. You can't... Well, you can see some of the socks, but you can't see the underwear. You know... No. No, no, no. no <laughs> Why? No. I want them to see... You want them to see your underwear. 
Not my underwear, the socks. So, we've got one pair of nice, warm, fluffy socks, which we'll probably be wearing when we're not travelling, when we're just kind of relaxing in the van and not going outside. We might sleep within the house pen, socks. Pen. House socks. So there's one pair of those. And then we've got two pairs plus a third pair, which we're going to be wearing on the day that we travel. So, and these socks last for a good few days before yeah. they need washing. We are going to do a wash, by the way. Halfway but, through, But we're roughly. hoping to do it only once. Only once, so roughly halfway through. So the underwear issue, we're taking about 10 pairs of underwear. 10 pairs of underwear, yeah. that's nearer two weeks. That's yeah. about halfway. Oh, for the washing, since we've just mentioned it. We are taking washing powder, because we're not buying it out there. This is definitely garlic. Um, you don't put it on your food, though. It's highly bleached garlic. It's the um, type of garlic that you would use to wash your clothes with. Although I think the airport security will stop um, your bag because we put it in your bag. Uh, we're taking. What is this remnants of white powder in a garlic jar? Nothing. So I don't think we can cut the socks because if we go with any less socks, we're just going to go barefoot everywhere. So three pairs of socks plus the house socks. That's four. We've got our buffs, which are just epic if you don't know what the buff is it's just a tube of fabric basically again made from merino wool you put it over your head as a ski mask of sorts you can well, can i remember how to make a hat i think so hair done so yeah this is a very very crude hat but this is not how you okay there you go i now have a hat so that's a buffs and uh, we're taking those. We're also taking hats, gloves, scarves, you know, specifically in the front. You can see them yeah. there. Since we're traveling, we are not taking full-size towels. No. Not at all. We're going to take these. We yeah. took them around New Zealand. We took them around Thailand. We pretty much lived with them for a year. They're basically a microfiber towel. They dry really quickly. They're kind of antibacterial. And they fold down to like that as opposed to something probably yeah. double the size but of that. But we also have mini ones as well. They're like yeah. maybe uh, yay much. So that's the clothes. I don't think we can cut anything else. Yeah. So let's, uh, mm -hmm. let's split them now into what we're going to be wearing for the travel. Because... Let's see what actually has needs to go in the bag. Let's see what needs to go so, in the bag. Essentially, out of the clothing, this is what needs to be packed in our bags. I don't think it's too bad. Now, the next really slightly more important actually part of packing for us um, is the other stuff apart from clothes, such as uh, our work stuff, our chargers, things that keep us entertained and uh, working. And, and also clean. Toiletries, quite basic. Uh, you have your toothbrushes and toothpaste and um, shampoo. Shampoo, yeah, that's it. There you go. Our medicine kits. So this is paracetamol, ibuprofen, antihistamines, our drugs. Those uh, things that's actually missing from here is the um, lady stuff, such as pads and etc. For um, the time of the month, if uh, whatever you want to call it, if you're mm. squeamish. Oh, we also oh. have wet wipes as well. They're amazing. So when you need to clean your hands, like you're out eating, need to clean anything. Or if you're living in the van and you don't want to shower or it's too freezing outside for you to have water in your tank, this is what you shower with. So we're probably going to have at least another packet of these. Oh, soap. Simple. There you go. For technology, we obviously have our laptops. Now we don't have them on the bed because we're currently working on them. But anyway, this is what they look like, you know, pretty simple. We have a few adapters like a USB adapter, our mice, the chargers for them as well. We also are taking one tablet because it's nice to watch movies on the tablet when you don't Ooh, want to get I've out your laptop. I've got my Kindle. Oh, wow. You still haven't charged your Kindle. You know that. Look, look, people. I've, na I've, 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 I've labeled it. There's a label. Let's start this again. We're taking a pad, a phone. And a second phone and a Kindle. Phone. So that's the technology and obviously the charges for these as well. For filming, um, the camera that we're currently filming on, the um, microphone, our dear Arnold who has to come along as well. Obviously the tripod that we're filming on as well, which is wonderful and slightly broken, but still works. I'm saying you broke it. You just touched it. I did it not it, break it. It, 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 it. You just touched it and it just stopped working. That's not my it, fault. It has never happened before. That's not my fault. 
Uh, yeah, it is. Not my fault. Yeah, it is. Not my fault. Do not touch the gorilla pod. <laughs> I'll touch you. Stop working. Give me that. No! We're also taking our gorilla pod, our mini tripod stand for, I don't know, Ease of handheld, use. handheld filming stuff. Oh, well, yeah, when we're vlogging, we, we vlog like that. Obviously, taking the battery charger for the camera, which is there. Yeah. Also, as you will have seen at the beginning of this video, our wonderful power bank. Yeah. This is going to charge everything. So as we, we said have. in our what was it, previous video, a few videos ago, as you mentioned, we, did, we didn't have one and we don't know why the hell we did not have a power bank thingy to charge the stuff when we're moving around. But it is really useful. And, and we were recommended a good one, so thank you for that. Yeah. And we got it. Our new travel journal. Hopefully it will be better in writing in this one. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't too bad, but t I had a tendency to basically... Forget for a few months to write in it. And then I was like, okay, uh, what the hell happened? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> yep. Pictures! More pictures! <laughs> we obviously have our inspiration to do work, which uh, I personally think is an amazing quote. Do it now. Nah, do it tomorrow. We have a few other uh, notebooks to keep track of stuff, and uh, a new addition to our packing book collection. Uh, yeah to our book collection is I'm gonna be doing a, a sketchbook challenge on my art channel shameless plug here go subscribe if you wish and I'm gonna be starting the um, build up to to the preparation for for uh, that manic year on our honeymoon funnily enough so oh, yeah. I'm gonna try and fill as much of this uh, sketchbook on our trip um, while you know this still, wow, 2019 hasn't started. So I'm taking a sketchbook, which also means that I'm, I have to take um, uh, art materials. So, okay. So there's the pencil section, there's the brushes section, and then there's highlighters and rubbers and other normal stuff, ruler in there and things like that. And I'm also taking a few thingies. Watercolor paints? Watercolor palette thingies, yeah. But that is the kind of the exotic section of our minimalist packing. And the final thing that we forgot to mention is our flask. Because we're, we're going to be drinking hot chocolate. Oh look, there's a spoon. <laughs> no one's ever been more excited about a spoon. Let me just take that from you. Why? No, my spoon. That's the spoon. <laughs> so yeah. That is everything that we're taking. Now we're going to try and attempt to pack it. So let's get to it. Okay, so first challenge is complete. The underwear fits in this packing cube here. So that's good. Second challenge, I think it's going to be a little bit harder fitting these clothes into a slightly bigger packing cube. Challenge number two. Clothes fit in here. I'm surprised I caught that. This is the clothing bag done. Now we need to check that it's under 10 kilos because that's our weight limit. So let's go and test it. Uh, let's go! 72.7. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah! Woohoo! So we've got bag number two. Let's pack the remainder of the stuff that's not going to be either on our person or in another bag slash pocket slash elsewhere. I've got 100 grams lighter in about five minutes. And with the bag, 80 again. Again, about eight kilos. Nice. So yeah, that's what we're taking. Do you think that's too excessive? Do you think we're taking too much? Do you think we're taking too little? Do you think we're just gonna, I don't know, rot away for all of our lack of things that we're taking? Please let us know down in the comments below. Let us know your experiences as well. You know, with packing for cheap budget airlines. Have you ever gone over limit, under limit? What do they do? Let us know. We will see you very soon in Scandinavia. We're actually the road trip to it. So let's go.